So next dent, MFH bleach. So let me show you the, um, oh, the printer. Yeah, so I didn't even touch base on that. So um, Sprint Ray, Sprint Ray uh, is kind of the company that we've been working with. Um, so Sprint Ray and Blue Sky, we've been working with them. Uh, but Sprint Ray's lineup is awesome. I mean, if you want to get into printing, I just say go to go through Sprint Ray. They've just got it figured out. They've got it packaged. It's not it's not super expensive. I mean, they're mostly their printers. You know, in that sixty five hundred dollar range, which I think is the sweet spot. You know, because you can go buy you know five hundred dollar printers on Amazon, but they're not going to be a workhorse. Or you could go spend twelve to twenty-five thousand dollars on a on a printer that is just overkill, really, for the basic office. So the Sprint Ray printer's been awesome. I think they're really the the go-to for most, you know, most GP offices. Um, the Sprint Ray Pro has been great. They've got everyone here has the ninety-five, right? Yeah, the ninety-five. Good. Yeah. There's a ninety-five and a fifty-five. They're both kind of little pros and cons. Um, if you're doing Volume, you want the 95. If you're doing like, if you want to print like crown and bridge type detail, you'd want the 55. So it's like, choose either the bigger build plate or the higher resolution, smaller build plate. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough. I go back and forth. If like, it depends on what what the office wants to print. What's the price? They're the same price. They're the same price. You just have to choose. Do I want a bigger build plate to print more things at once, or do I want higher resolution. My gut tells me like if they had to choose now, go with the highest resolution unless you were doing clear aligners in house where you're going to routinely print large volumes at the same time, which doesn't sound like that's any of us in this room. So we tried it, it wasn't fun. Yeah, yeah. that's that's no fun. Um, you can also get a second hand moon ray. That's what we started on. Uh, 1500 to 2 grand. It's gonna, yeah, basically it's the same prints, it's just not as user friendly. And then there's a bunch of them on the market probably right now. Yeah, because everyone's been upgrading to these new ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they probably might be able to buy them directly from Sprint Ray. They still work, they still print the same resins. You know? the, the, the only resin they won't print is the Bago. Yeah, the Bago. So the, the newest material on the market for like printing like hybrids and stuff is mm -hmm. is uh wouldn't be able to be printed on the on the Bago or on the Moonray. Moonray. So this is this is next dent MFH crown and bridge bleach shade. This works great for printing dentures. Um, it's three hundred and sixty five bucks a liter. Um, so it's a little bit pricey compared to you know your model resins are 150. So it's a little bit pricier. This stuff really, um, this stuff is the worst resin for settling out quickly, meaning that it settles out and has to be reconstituted or stirred really rapidly. So like your clear resins, like your surgical guide and your splint resins, like they almost never separate. Like they just kind of stay the same color and consistency forever. You almost don't even have to agitate them. This is the extreme opposite end. It gets thick and settles out really fast. So when you're going to print with this stuff, you got to get your rubber spatula thing, and you got to sit there for five minutes, stirring it really good. Churning butter. Like. Yeah, getting it really reconstituted back together. So you can't shake the bottle. So you can shake the bottle, um, but we store. Once you pour the resin in the printer tank, it's easiest just to leave it in the tank and put the lid on. Because if you tried to transfer it back to the bottle every single time, that's a nightmare. Okay. It's a lot of work. So you just pour it in the tank, and you put a lid on the tank. But to stir it, you got to really get it with a spatula. Um, it's expensive, too. Every time you pour it out, you have all this residue on there. And that's enough little plastic right there. Yeah. yeah. yeah so you, it all, you have to wipe it all with alcohol, and you're like, dude, this is like $40 yeah. of material right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if... Um, January will be uh, is a really good course when we do the beginning. It's all just on printers and sprint rays and pros, how to use it, the software, just the basics of like how to get going on printing. We have, we have sprint right here. They're here with 3D printers. We have Antero scanners here. Yeah. So we scan, we print, we get the models, we print them, 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 we
Yeah, a ton of sprint ray printers in the room and stuff. Um, yeah, so this this stuff is this stuff is great, and you can and you know we've done temporary hybrids with them, um, Snap on Smiles, you know, shell temps uh, for implants, um, immediate, immediate, immediate restorations, on immediate implants. restorations on tie bases and implants. Yeah, and uh, it's it's great. It's a great resin. The the new resin Bego is twice. No, four times the cost almost now. The, it's expensive, you know. Can you guys use this on single, for, on tie basis for single crowns? For yeah. Do you have them, any of them break? No. For temporary, so we don't <coughs> restore it to final. Oh, no, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have any of them break? None. So why not for temps, right? Right. right. We've been yeah. using it for anterior temps quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Why do you use the bagel that's four times the cost? Right? It looks a little better. So yeah. the reason because once you buy the bagel, it's a dollar versus 50 cents is really your decision on, on making the crown, right? Does that make sense? Because you're using one milliliter of resin. It's the initial investment that you either do it or you don't. But if, once you have the bago material, it's one buck of resin because it's so little. It uses one milliliter of resin for a crown. For a crown. It's teeny. Yeah. So, yeah. But for a denture or for a hybrid, yeah, you don't want to have to waste the bago because that's a lot of milliliters. Mm-hmm. 